the goal of this window video is to create a differential drive car we'll basically model the car using shapes such as the cuboid the cylinder and put a joint uh, we'll target this kind of a structure for the for the differential drive car and in order to run the simulation we'll put the car on an inclined plane and just press run you'll see that the car will move so open copelia sim first we'll create the chassis we'll add a cuboid and so from this figure uh, we see that the size of the cuboid is 0 0.5 0 0.4 and the thickness uh, let's just say 0 0.05 0 0.545 for x 0.4 for y and 0 0.05 for z so that that appears now what we want to do here is we want to fit the chassis with a wheel the radius of the wheel is 0 0.1 which means that we need to move the the chassis by a height of 0 0.01 so let's do that so i go to move i select the cuboid uh, it's set as 0 0.025 let's set it to 0 0.1 so it moved up okay it's a good time to rename this to chassis now we got the chassis now let's move on and create the joint so add joint revolute and you can see the revolute joint is buried in here uh, i'm going to move it up so we can see it okay uh, let's me change the the size of it so click on this uh, let's just make it uh, 0.1 and slightly thicker Zero five. Now, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to make this joint as the right wheel for the right wheel. So, in order to do that, the rotation, the axis of rotation is this. Uh, the 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 blue axis shown here, the z axis. So, I want those blue axis to point in this direction or the y direction, and that's when I do that, a positive rotation will cause this car to move in front this way. So in order to move this blue uh, in the y direction, what I need to do is I need to turn by 90 degrees in the clockwise direction as seen from the x-axis here. Okay. So I go for orientation. Let's say clockwise, so minus 90. And you can now see that the blue is pointing in the y direction the direction i care about this is going to be my right joint so i'll call it joint right okay now what i want to do is place this joint right here and the easy way of doing this is to is as follows this is the trick so move make that a child of chazi now click on uh, position I'll go to position you want to move it relative to the parent frame the parent frame being the parent or the chassis so take all that zero 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 now it moves here now all i have to do is i need to move it back along the x-axis and then this way towards the uh, y-axis so let's just make this 0 0.2 and that moved it forward i wanted to move it back so minus 0 0.2 and I move, need to move it this way. So let's try 0 0.2. Let's move it the other way. So minus 0 0.2 will move it in that place. So we have the uh, the joint at the position we want it to be. Now the last step is to create the wheel. So for that, we'll add a wheel through a cylinder. Uh, we know that the size of the wheel is 0 0.1 radius. So diameter is 0 0.2. And we can just put a thickness of uh, 0 0.05. So 0.2, 0 0.05. And that cylinder is generated right here. We can see it by moving it along the Z. So here it is. Uh, we want to orient it such that uh, this red, this uh, uh, blue is all the z-axis of this is along the z-axis of that so what we can do here is uh, we can click on that uh, sorry click on uh, orientation and rotate it by minus 90 degrees along uh, red 
okay this will work uh, also we don't really care about the orientation so uh, by by 90 of, we, we don't really care about the axis so we could put plus 90 or minus 90 uh, it'll produce it'll have the same effect it doesn't doesn't really matter now we want to make put this right here and for that what we do is uh, first we'll name this as wheel right we'll make it a child of joint and uh, go to move or translate to position here we want to relate move relative to parent which is the joint just put zero 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 okay so we moved it there now this is interfering the wheel is interfering with the child so we need to move it by a short distance uh, in this direction so if you look at the parent the z axis of the parent we know is in the uh, is along this direction along this y so what we'll do is we'll translate with respect to the parent frame in the z direction uh, we could try 0 0.05 first it goes mix go inside so minus 0 0.05 so you can see now it does not quite interfere with the chassis so we are all good okay so once we have this uh, we can now work with uh, uh, we'll create the the left wheel so for that what we'll do is uh, the simplest thing to do is to copy this i copied it control c uh, on a mac apple key c and control v or apple key v we'll call this the left wheel call this the wheel uh, uh, joint left wheel left and it's right now sitting on top of the right wheel so we need to move it so what we can do first is make that a uh, child of chazi so you can see there's a hierarchy now and if you close this all of that disappear it means that it is set to be the child now we will translate this by let's try this that's not how we want it we want it translate with the along the y-axis okay. okay now i do want to keep the orientation of the um, joint this way so that again the positive axis will be pointing in to the right okay so i just have to move this relative to the joint so i'll uh, move go to translation so instead of minus 0 0.05 points plus 0 0.05 and that's it so we have now model the differential drive car uh, we can change the color go to color i'm going to change it to yellow and then let's change the color of the wheels uh, let's see to black and the other one Now, before we uh, launch this on a slope, let's do one more thing, which is sometimes you want to identify a point on the frame or the chassis, which you want to keep track of, like for example, an end effector or uh, something which would trace a curve. So let's create that. So that what I'll do is I'll say add dummy. Okay. Uh, this dummy is going to be on the chassis. So I'll make it a child of chassis. Uh, I'll call this point. Uh, this has point could be an end called an end effector now i can't see where it is so what i'll do is i'll go to translate make all of this zero 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 it looks like it's here but in order to see it what we can do is we can increase the size okay so that's where it is uh, we can change the color let's change it to red And I want to put it, uh, so this is right now at 0, 0, 0, but I want to move it uh, by a distance of 0 0.2 along the x-axis. So what I'll do is go to translate, say move 0 0.2 along the x-axis related to the parent, and that's it. Okay. Now let us launch this on inclined plane, but before that, if you run this, nothing will happen because uh, this thing, the car cannot move unless each of the motors are powered. Okay, so I zoom out.
I'm going to move this up. So translate mouse translation long Z. I'll create an inclined plane. So I say add primitive shape plane. Uh, like it, let's make it pretty big. Uh, let's say four or five by five. Okay, it covers that. Uh, we want to rotate it. So we want to rotate it about this y axis. About y axis. Okay, we want to translate it so much. Let's translate it up long C. And uh, now that's it, let's just run this. You see that the car went inside the uh, inside the plane, and that's because this plane is not respondable. So for that, to change that, uh, you need to go to, click on plane, go to dynamic properties. Uh, there are two settings, one of respondable and one of dynamic. Dynamic means that it can move. Uh, respondable means it can detect collisions. So you just want it to be respondable. So you can see the uh, car sort of moves on it. Okay, this video is just supposed to show that it actually moves. There it goes.